Hi, thanks so much for taking a moment to watch this real quick video. Listen, in the next five to six minutes here, I want to go through what I think is probably one of the most powerful distinctions for entrepreneurs, small business owners, the independent contractors, solopreneurs, whatever you want to call yourself. If you own a business and that business success is directly related to your efforts in the business, you need to pay attention right now because I'm going to share with you some really cool information. First off, let's talk about what types of small business owners there are. So whatever label you want to give yourself, you're going to fit into one of three categories. And the three categories that I'm going to share with you, by the way, I didn't invent them. I didn't come up with them. All of the information I'm going to share with you right now is coming from the genius of one Daniel Priestley, the founder of Triumphant Events. And he's got some information that I think is absolutely groundbreaking for businesses that really want to make an impact in the next five to ten years to come. Here's what he says. He says that there are three types of businesses. The first one are what he calls the newbies. Newbies are those people, you know what they are, you've been a newbie by the way and you still might be one. Newbies are those people who really don't care if they make a lot of money, they're just so happy to be in the business of whatever it is, whether it be massage therapy, personal training, business coaching, uh, widget building, it doesn't matter what it is. Whatever your business is, you just open it up, you're so thrilled, you can get up early, you can stay up late, you go and you can work 12 hour days, seven days a week and you don't even get exhausted because it's your passion and you love it. And the sad part is, by the way, those people rarely don't make that much money. What they do though is they see the people that are really made it in the business and they want to be like them so they think in their head, if I work hard enough, if I work long enough, I'll be one of those people. And the sad truth is, by the way, it has nothing to do with working harder <laughs> or nothing to do with working longer. And it doesn't even really have to do much with working smarter, but it does have to do with applying some smarts in your business. And I'm going to get to that here in a moment. The second type of business owner are what Daniel refers to as the worker bees. Now this is where about 95% of just about every industry workers are at. All the business owners, the worker bees are the ones that work their butt off. They still work long hours, but they're not as happy as the, the, the newbies. In fact, they actually look at the newbies with a little bit of jealousy. They're like, oh, oh man, I miss the days when I, when, I, when I had that foolish, naive attitude. Oh, you know, and they kind of want to have that innocence again, but it's too late. They're hard now and they have to work real hard. So they kind of envy those, those newbies because they have a great attitude, but they, they really envy the people that are really making a difference. What Daniel refers to as the key people of influence. And you know who these are, by the way. If you're not one in your industry, you know who they are. It's the people that you look at and you see what they do and they don't work as hard as you. <laughs> they don't work as long as you. It seems like whatever they do, it just seems to come to them naturally. They're the center of attention. The business comes to them. They don't have to chase it down. And you kind of sit there a little pissed off and you go, damn it, why do they work so little and they get so much? I'm just as good as hell. I'm better than they are. I, I give better customer service. I give, giver, I give better products. And there's this kind of this almost resentment of those people, but yet still a desire to be that key person of influence, which is the third category, by the way, the KPIs. Those people in the middle, the center of it all, where the business comes to them, they don't have to chase it. They get all the perks. And on the outside, by the way, it looks like they have a pretty good life. And the reason why it looks like that is because they do. <laughs> they do have a pretty good life. They don't have to chase it. It comes to them. It's a pretty good thing. And here's the cool thing. Daniel Priestley has what it takes to get a KPI. In fact, he's got it down into five steps. And he's going to be sharing with you what those steps are here in London, and you need to check this out, by the way. Uh, he does these things maybe three times a year, maybe four times at the most, and every time he does it, they sell out because he brings in world-class speakers, powerful entrepreneurs, successful business people who are KPIs in their own industry, and they're sharing with the audience exactly what they've done to get there. This is not your typical happy clappy personal development, oh, let's get all motivated. You're not going to see any of that when you go to the event. You're going to be surrounded by professionals. You're going to be surrounded by people who are committed to getting out of that worker bee mentality and into the key person of influence. And you're going to meet some KPIs. You're going to meet some powerful people that have some great distinctions. And you're going to have some awesome opportunities to follow Daniel's program called KPI, which I'm telling you right now, if you know me, you know I don't make a lot of endorsements. I do endorse people when I really believe in them. And there are less than a handful of people worldwide that I would stake my reputation on. Daniel Priestley is one of them. I'm telling you right now, the information that he has to share with you will absolutely revolutionize the way you do your business. I want you to imagine for a moment not having to pick up the phone and make cold calls, 
but pick up the phone and answer calls for people that left messages that night after you were gone because you left work early to go enjoy your day. How's that sound, right? I'm not exaggerating when I say Daniel Priestley can show you how to do that no matter what your industry is because there are five tenets and if you follow these, you can too, you too can become a KPI and you can become a KPI much faster than you think you can. What do you got to do to get that? You got to go to his event. Go to the Key per Person of Influence program. I am begging you right now. I'm telling you, very rarely would I tell you, don't care what's going on that day, cancel it. I don't care if your kid's got a birthday party. Just get him a better present and go the next day. All right? Get to the program on the date and the time and the location that you see below right now. Click the link. I'm in this because I'm a fan. And I want you to know something. I'm going to be at the event. And I don't say you should go to the event because I'm going to be there speaking. You should, no, go there because I'm going to be there sitting in the audience taking notes. That's the value I place on this program. That's the value I hope you place on this program. And you will do whatever it takes to get to the Key Person of Influence event coming up in London. Trust me, it's that good. Until we meet, please take care, dare to dream, and make each day an epic adventure. Thank you for your time.